So am I up to the challenge of filming in a very public place today? Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Iwate Swan. So today it's the weekend and I've got some free time and I wanted to go visit this big department store here in Hanamaki, Ito Yokado. And apparently it's pretty new and it's the biggest department store here in the city. So, and there's a McDonald's there. There's two McDonald's in Hanamaki and one of them is there. So let's go check it out and see what it's like. All right, so here I am in the shed outside my house, and to get to the department store today, we're going to be taking my bike. So I actually had another bike, but it was stolen the other day. I didn't buy a lock for it, so when I returned to the station later that night after getting back from work, it was gone. So I learned my lesson. I bought a cheap $1 lock for this one. Thankfully, this house came with two bikes, so it's not a big deal. This one is not fun to ride, though. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's too big for me, and I feel slightly... Uh, dangerous when I ride it, but so far so good and I get my car next week. Alright, just parked my bike at the station, locked it up this time so it doesn't get stolen, and uh, now I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way, because that bike is really uncomfortable. I'm listening to Prince right now, by the way. Controversy. Fun song. So I already see the department store, it's right up here. I guess my sense of direction is getting better here in the city. But there's some other like used video games and CD and DVD and bookstores up here as well. So in addition to all the stores, they also have a bit of a grocery store, supermarket in here as well. So yeah, this place is pretty massive. Looks like multiple floors, grocery store, uh, food court, McDonald's. So, yeah, definitely impressed that Hanamaki has this. One of my favorite sections of a Japanese grocery store is always like a little toy candy aisle. Uh, which is really cool. They have so many different little toys and treats, so uh, check out all these really cool toys. You got like Dragon Ball Z, uh, tons of Dragon Ball Z, wow. Uh, Power Rangers, Naruto, um, all sorts of different things. Pokemon, there's some Kirby, Kirby dolls down there. But yeah, they just have so many different toys. Um, I always thought that was so interesting uh, to find in the, the Japanese supermarket, so really cool. That Mario thing is pretty cool right there. I think it's a lollipop or something. So I'm not quite hungry yet, so I think we'll visit the food court in a little bit to get the McDonald's. So maybe we'll go up to the second floor and see what's up there first before we get food. I think that sounds like a good idea. But so far I'm very impressed with the first floor. There's really a lot, and the supermarket has more than the one that's near my house. So that's really cool. And the prices are a little better on some things too, which I think is interesting. So, okay, to the second floor. So up here on the second floor, they actually have a little bit of an arcade. Uh, this is like the children's floor for part of it, so that's pretty cool. So let's go check it out. model kits and it's really cool they even have like the old Gundam wing which is kind of surprising um, oh it's X mark keys the tall geese yeah nerdy moment I know but still really cool so 
So as you can see, lots of Dragon Ball Z toys down here. Uh, I used to love Dragon Ball Z when I was a little boy. Of course, there's also a bookstore here on the top floor with a very large amount of manga. So as you can see, it's pretty much everywhere. And this is a very common sight here in Japan, even in like the rural countryside or the vaguely rural countryside, as it were. As with most department stores, they also have a 100 yen store, like the dollar store. So this one is no exception. And yeah, very nice. Kind of Doritos that I've never seen before. Have you ever seen these? Are these back home in the States? Teriyaki Doritos. I've never seen those before. That's brand new. I wonder how those taste. So, very interesting. <laughs> Yep, so there's another wall of puzzles. They have a lot here as well. So my mom really likes puzzles, so I always like to film it for her. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, really cool store here, Ito Yokaro. But I'm getting hungry for that McDonald's, so maybe we should head back downstairs. As you can see, I got a delicious teriyaki mac burger here. And I'm gonna eat this and then probably head out because I think we've seen all of Ito Yokoro. And it was a really cool place, really liked it. A lot of neat stuff. And just another reminder that I'm not really that far out in the country as I originally thought I was going to be. All right, so this place right next door to Ito Yokoro looks very cool. I've never been here before, but it says like games, CDs, DVDs, books, comics, toys. So all the fun stuff that I like, all in one little store. So let's check it out. All back here is like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards and Dragon Quest and all sorts of... Wow, this store is really cool and there's baseball cards over here. Uh, very, very interesting. So many like toys and stuff. Alright, now we're in the video game section. Uh, but what I'm looking at are the classic old school games. It's like a wall of Super Nintendo games. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Now we're in the music section. This store is incredible. Oh my gosh, there's so much. And the prices are really good. I was very tempted by the video game section. They had very cheap Dreamcast games. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Pet Shop Boys, New York City Boys single, only a dollar eighty. Are you serious? And Pet Shop Boys, Disco 3, only a dollar eighty. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. They have the three CD Prince Emancipation album for like three dollars. Alright, I've seen a lot of cool stores in Tokyo, and I've been to a lot of cool places, but this has to be one of the coolest places I've ever been to. They have so much neat stuff here. Oh, I just think my family would love this place. Everyone in my family would love this place. There's so much to see here. So, yeah, thanks so much for joining me on this great adventure of Saturday shopping. It was a lot of fun. I picked up some Pet Shop Boys and prints, and it didn't even cost me that much. So that's really sweet. So thanks again for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.